Hello, down to the brick here. We're back for part two of the live Lego Star Wars AT-AT build. Um, so welcome if you're watching it now or later. Thank you for joining us. Um, so right here, what we got so far is uh, the speeder, um, the three minifigures, and the cannon was in bag one. Um, this was in bag two, just the main base of the AT-AT. -AT. So, um, and now we are on bag three. This is bag three. Lots of Technic components in this one. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be building the little winch system that pulls up Luke Skywalker. So that will be very cool. Um, I'm just going to wait for some more people to join. And yeah, feel free if you have anything, any questions or anything to put it down in the comments. And yeah, if it's laggy or whatever, also put that down in the comments. I'll try my best to fix it and everything. Um, but yeah, if you're joining me right now, um, thank you so much. Um, you could just put down hi in the comments or whatever. But yeah, we'll just get right into it. Um, so here's bag three. It's pretty cool. Um, there's also a bunch of chairs in here too. So we're going to be building some of the inside, I'm guessing, which is going to be pretty cool. I'll just put this off to the side for now. Oh. There we go. This is a very exciting set for me. I wanted this set for a while now, so I'm really glad to have it now and build it with you guys. Um, it's one of the 2021 sets I won. I mean, I'm sorry, this, this set was in 2022. I mean, no, it was in made in 2020. Um, but I do want a couple of the other 2021 sets. This was just one of the ones on my wish list. So I thought to get this one first. There's a little fabric, or I don't even know what type of pieces in there. It might be fabric. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's not fabric. It's a string piece. That's for the, the little um, grappler hook. And it comes in this nice little um, cardboard box here with the Lego brick on it, which is pretty cool. Hello, uh fifth gaming fif gaming um welcome right now we just opened bag three here um i just showed off bag one and two. Oh, and uh i did get to finish bag two um so that's basically all now we're on bag three and we're doing the winch system the grappling hook there and we're going to be doing the in interior with the seats and stuff. That's what we're doing right now. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, I should probably open the instruction manual if I want to <laughs> build it. How was your day today? Um, I know mine was pretty boring. I had school and um, yeah, that was about it. I learned some stuff. Right now I'm doing some geography. I have a bit of art too. So it's about my extent of the day. Um, let's see. And then after school, I'm now building with you guys. Um, so yeah, I just come home from school at about like two o'clock my school ends and now it's 3.15, so. Okay, so bag three starts here. Uh, Fifth Gaming says, have to study a lot. Mathematics is killing me. Yes, yes. Oh, I do not like math. Like, math's okay. It's just there's some parts of math. Like, I know I really don't like fractions. And that's annoying for me. Um, I don't really like French either. In Canada, we have to study French, and that's annoying. <laughs> and this build is telling me to put these these little blue pins all into the this round black thing here so 
there's like 11 pins I have to put in now. That's quite a bit. Uh, and let's see, what else did I do today? Um, hmm. I guess I, t I took a bus in the morning. I take buses to school, so that's kind of cool. It's not really cool, but I mean, I got to wake up earlier. That's what that means. <laughs> oh, yeah, I agree. The ATAT -AT is going to turn out really good. Um, right now, we're just building the main Technic pieces inside and the main base um, to make it sturdy. And then um, here, I'll show you some of the other bags. Um, inside some of the other bags, like bag four, you get to see the plates in the outside there. And bag five, there's a lot of the outside plates, so it's going to be really cool. Um, yeah, and thank you again for joining um, Fifth Gaming, or um, FIF. I'm so sorry if I <laughs> pronounce it wrong. I'm never good with pronunciation of anything, so... Um, I try my best, and that's all that counts, I guess. Um, but it really means a lot um, that everybody um, is joining me and watching me. Um, it just makes me so happy that people are enjoying my content and, like, watching it. Um, that's really all I want my channel to be. I never really wanted to make money. I'm, like, I'm still a long ways away from that. But all I want to do is make people happy watching my videos. And that is my goal. And it looks like right now um, we are building the little hook piece to attach the cannon because the cannon and the speeder bike both fit inside of the ATAT, -AT, which is really cool. This is the first time that they did it. So um, that's a really cool inclusion. I really like how the side build can fit into the actual ATAT, -AT, like, and like just into the set in general. That's just a really cool idea. If you have a bigger set and two smaller side builds, why not fit them together? And they did it perfectly, so I really like that. Um, and yeah, j just let me know how my audio is. Um, I don't know if it's good or not. I can't really tell, but. Yeah, so right now we're just putting in these beautiful chairs. Um, I haven't got these color of chairs yet. They're actually really nice, like this nice um, gray, sand blue sort of color. Um, it's a really good chair color. Usually they're like yellow or just some other color. But this is a really nice chairs for this particular set because it fits well with AT-AT -AT, um, drivers. And I'll just show you the box. They're in bag eight, I'm pretty sure. But right here, the AT-AT -AT drivers, they match, and the general here, they're both in bag eight, but they, um, they match the chairs pretty well. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, thank you. Audio quality is pretty good. Um, I'm, Yes, let's see. Next step. Um, it's right here. We just need a little two by four tile here. And now a couple of technique pieces. I wish they would have added like gray version of these. The only reason they did it, I'm sure, was like they had extras from different sets or something but they really should have gone the extra step and added the gray versions just because, um, I don't know, it's kind of a bit bothering, especially for inside here. Like if you didn't watch my last live stream, I talked about how they added a couple like um, yellow, more slopey pieces and a couple of these blue things. And I have a bunch of gray ones, so they do come in gray. It's just like they, they didn't chose not to. And I'm sure that's because of... Um, they probably had extra stock from another set or something. Um, but yeah, I don't really get it. And me as a Lego fan personally would love to have it maybe more gray than just orange sticking out. 
I know it's not going to be sticking in, in the real one, but like when it gets all covered up, but it's just annoying when you're building it. Let's see. Um, I remember my old ATAT had like a little trap door at the bottom of it. Upper hall. I always play a loop clutching the whole ATAT. Yes, so it had a trap door at the bottom. Yes, okay, I forgot to show you this completely, but right here it has a little trap door area. Not necessarily a trap door, just a little hatch here that opens and closes. And Luke, he comes with a thermal detonator, a bomb, and then in the movies he blows it up. So you can just like stick it in here, and then it goes in. You can close it, and then you can pretend to blow it up. Yeah, and it fits in pretty well. It's just a like a little opening, I would say a, a two by two opening that you can just um, put in a thermal detonator or something. Yeah, so thanks for pointing that out because I completely forgot to show you. Um, that's just my bad. Um, let's see. Instructions here. And yeah, this stream's probably gonna go on for um, forty five minutes to an hour again. Um, I don't have a whole lot of plans, but I don't want to make it too, too long. Just because um, my phone may die by the time. <laughs> I, I did remember to charge it a bit. So I think it was like 75% when we started. So we'll have to see how low it gets. Um, let's see here. So chair goes here. Okay, so there's like five chairs on this thing. That's pretty good if you ask me. And there's more space to store minifigures. So that's quite a bit of minifigure storage there. You can have like whole lineups inside. And I'm sure over here is where you put the, the big cannon here. I think it goes like that. I looked at some of the pictures and I think it goes like this. And the speeder, there's the back hatch opens and I'm pretty sure it slides in like this. And you can have the speeder like sliding in or something. So it's all gonna fit in somehow, which is really, really cool. And let's see here. Now we got a bit of a Technic build. So just a couple pins. I think, I don't know, is this the, it's probably the, the winch system, the grappling hook maybe. Um, I'm sure it is. Yeah, we're probably building that right now. Um, hey guys. Hello, underdog. Hey, Lucas. Yes. Hello. Oh, parts. Okay, yeah. I'll show you the box here. So the ATAT -AT has a thousand two hundred and sixty-seven pieces. Here, I'll just move this stuff out of the way. And um, right here, a thousand two hundred and sixty-seven pieces. Um, set number 75288. Um, how much did you actually pay for the ATAT? -AT? Well, me personally, I only paid $160 Canadian. I am in Canada, so I paid Canadian uh, money. Um, it was originally $200, but I got a discount on it. So um, for 140 and then, and then um, the tax it just added so yes. I don't know if you guys have tax where you live. I'm sure you guys do. I don't even know. <laughs> I never thought about that. I'm sure you got yeah, everybody has tax. Tax on everything. Uh let's see here. Welcome all. Thank you so much for joining. Hello, hello, hello. Um, thank you guys so much for joining and tuning in. Um, right now, here, I'll show you guys what we missed. So on um, last stream, we built bag one, which was a speeder, um, two snow troopers. We got Luke Skywalker here, and we got this cool um, gun-like um, thing. And bag two, we had basically this whole base except for the chairs and just the everything on the top. That's bag three. But bag two basically was this main build here. Um, 
so that's pretty cool. And I'm working on bag three right now, which is all the pieces later. I'm hoping to finish this by the end of the stream and maybe start bag four. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, just leave it in the chat. Um, I'll make sure to get back to it or any Q and A or anything like that. You can do that. Thank you guys so much for almost 350 subscribers. I'm at, I think, what does it say, like 348 or something? I'm just so close to 350. Um, my channel has been growing relatively fast, I would say. Um, and look at that, we have six views on the live stream so far, six viewers. Let's see, Um, it's about 113 euro in Germany, so it's pretty much the same in Canadian. Yeah, yeah, euro, it's worth a lot more than um, Canadian dollar. So that would make sense. And what's your favorite Lego, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Okay. I did briefly discuss this last stream, but currently, that's a really tough question. <laughs> currently, I would say it's tied with. Return of the Jedi, A New Hope, and, um, oh my, I always get this one, um, mixed up. The Empire Strikes Back. Basically, my favorite are the old three. I love the old three. Um, in my opinion, they're just, like, what made Star Wars Star Wars. They're just, um, the OG ones. I, I really do like those ones. The new ones aren't bad, and, um, and the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and uh, Revenge of the Sith. Or they, I, I don't mind them. They're not the best in my opinion, but they're 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 pretty good. For me, I really like all Star Wars movies. If somebody's watching a Star Wars movie, I'll definitely watch because I love Star Wars. Let's see, what is this trying to tell me? instructions okay I get it. yeah I'm sure we're building the little winch thing right now just a bunch of technic here um I have a question for you guys in the chat um what is your favorite Lego Star Wars 2021 set um, I don't know if you know it came out in 2021 but it was um like for example Moff Gideon's light cruiser the slave one um, the Mandalorian Starfighter, just those ones. So, yeah. yeah, and if you have any other questions in chat, yeah, put it down, I'll answer it. Um, let's see here. So, hopefully, I did that stuff right. <laughs> it's just a lot of technic stuff now. Oh, and did you guys want to see the back of the box? Here, I'll quickly show you. Um, so, hello, welcome. We're just building a Lego ATAT -AT right now. Here's the back of the box. You can see it opens up and. Um, has this really cool um, winch feature here, grappling hook, and the speeder can fit into. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Um, let's see where that boat is. Okay. Right now, we're just building the play feature with Luke Skywalker. Let's see. I'm not really familiar with the new sets, but I'd probably say the new X-Wing should would would be my choice. Okay, okay. Yeah, they they made quite a few X-Wings. Um the new X-Wing with like from the Oh, I'm blanking on it. What is it? The, the last movie. I completely forget the name. Can you guys help me? I actually like oh my <laughs> it just slipped right out of the head. It's the Rise of Skywalkers. Yes, that's the name. I'm sure it is. Um you see, there's so many Star Wars movies that naming them is like, oh my, and some of them like sound familiar, like not like not some of them sound like similar, like in a way, 
Maybe that's just me. I don't know. <laughs> I like Lego heads um, and the probe droid. Oh, the helmets? Oh, yeah, those ones are good. Yeah. I haven't picked them up yet, but um, they, yeah, the helmets look really nice. Um, I, yeah, they're really detailed. Uh, the probe droid, I, yeah, I was, I was considering picking that one up. I found it like 10 or $20 off or something, and I was like, oh, this one's so cool. And it would go so well with the at at but, um, yeah, I sort of wasted all my money on the at at so... Maybe in the future, I will consider getting a pro droid. For me, I love the helmets, but I don't know. Like, it, they're, yeah, they're really cool. I just don't know if it's, like, my type of thing. I think the probe droid would be more, more my type of thing. Um, like, the Stormtrooper helmet. The original movie. Yeah, the Stormtrooper helmet. Yeah, that one's so cool, too. They made um what they made the Tie Fighter helmet the Boba Fett one, they made the what else did they make? Oh, they made the Scout Trooper, they made the what else? Um, what else did they make? What other helmets? Oh, the Darth Vader. Is that five? I think. My one um is you the pilot helmet of the Skywalker. Oh yeah, right. There was rumored um more helmets coming out in the future. Um, I think it was like the Mandalorian helmet um and the Luke Skywalker's X Wing um helmet. They are rumored to be coming out um twenty twenty two. I'm pretty sure. Um yeah. I don't really keep track of the helmets as much, but, um, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I don't know, like, it would be really weird, in my opinion, to have a Luke Skywalker helmet, just because there's, like, it's not covered, there's, the rest are covered, I know they did it for the Batman one, um, the Batman one, they, like, didn't put a face on there or something, but, uh, I feel like... <laughs> Yeah, should have something covering it. Let's see. Let's scroll up for a second. Um, I got the Boba Fett and the Scout Trooper, and I think the Scout Trooper is very cool. Yeah, from pictures, I saw that the Scout Trooper is really cool. But if I have feeling, uh, the Scout Trooper would be awesome. Yes. Um, yeah, the Scout Trooper, um, my opinion for helmet sets, I think the Scout Trooper and the Boba Fett one are some coolest ones. Um, I feel like if they did make a Mandalorian helmet, um, it would be, I don't know, a bit plain. Like, if they made it with that really nice silver color that the, that the, like, like, because the Iron Man helmet, it came in the gold. So if this, if the Mandalorian one came in the silver, that would be really nice. But I think it may just be like a gray. Let's read the chat here. Um, nice set. Um, signed up. I also shoot reviews of Lego Stars. Look, I think you'll like it. Yes, I will. I will look at it. Um, thank you for signing up or subscribing. Or thank you. Um, and let's see. I actually like the new Star Wars vests. And there we go. So this is a really, really interesting um, Wow. That's pretty cool. It's like moves back and forth. Um, let's see here. Any other questions for me or anything I can answer? Um, yeah, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. That would really help me out. And thank you for all the recent support. Um, I really do appreciate it. And if you're new, yeah, just like leave a comment and I will say hello or just question or anything. Um, actually, like, yes. Um, 
Okay. This is a really cool Technic fight. Golden. I know my favorite LEGO Star Wars 2021 set. Let's see. Um, Let's see. Favorite. What's your first LEGO Star Wars set? Okay. Now, I got my shelf of LEGO Star Wars right here, so I just got to quickly take a peek. First LEGO Star Wars set. Whoa. Uh, you're getting me tricky questions. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about, uh, first, I will tell you, um, first I will, okay, wait, let me just, like, okay, first of all, first of all, let me just quickly, uh, look for my Lego set. So I'm going to just say Lego set in general, because Lego Star Wars set, um, I don't quite know Lego Star Wars, I collected a bit later on, um, I know my... One of my first might have been the Escape Pod from 2016. Um, I'm not quite sure. I know my first Lego City set was like this Lego City speedboat set. Um, it was just like a Lego City thing. It came with a minifigure and a little speedboat, and that was like I probably got that like 2014, maybe. Um, yeah, that sort of time. Mm -hmm. In my top, like, first five, I'm sure I got this, like, little space Land Rover. For Star Wars, though, that's a tricky one. Um, let's see. Let me just read. How many Lego sets do you own? Oh, boy. Um, I don't actually keep a count, so, um, yeah. How about this? I'll let you know next live stream, okay? <laughs> because that is a... Good question. I could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two,
and I got this just cheap Pau Dameron one. Um, I got and what is this? This is one of the I think Hasbro too. This one's Jar Jar Binks. I have him. He's pretty cool. And I got I, this guy's another Hasbro. There's a lot of Hasbro stuff. I just got um Chewbacca here. Um, this one's from the Han Solo movie, particularly. And it comes with his weapon here. So those are my Star Wars figures. Um, basically, I think Star Wars I will collect, but I mainly like uh, Lego the best. Uh, yeah. The pilot does look pretty cool. And his helmet um, can come off, maybe. Probably, yes. There we go. Yeah, his helmet can come off. And he does have a little pistol on the side, too. Yeah, there we go. So those are my um Star Wars figures that I have. Um, I was thinking maybe I would do a room tour sometime so I could show you guys all my Lego if you're interested. Um, I'm not quite sure if you guys want to see something like that, but I know I can do that. So if you guys are interested in like a room tour or something, then um yeah, just put it in the comments. Because then I can show you all my all my Star Wars stuff, Lego Star Wars stuff, everything. Um, I did this wrong already. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for joining again. Let me just what did I do wrong on this one now? Um, okay, I get it now. A room tour would be very cool. Okay, okay. I'll start to work on that very soon then. That'd be cool. Okay. Perfect. I'll start to work on that either tonight or tomorrow or something. Let's see. Thank you for all the recent support. Um, I really try to make good YouTube videos <laughs> with what I have. Um, I got a relatively old phone, so... It's hard, and I don't really got a good camera or anything, so I really do try to make good YouTube videos. Mm. I try my best with uh, lots of stuff. I know I'm, I, like, record, and I edit, and I do, a, like, YouTube-related things for at least, like, five hours a day. Um, I, I do the same amount of YouTube that I do school, so I really do try, um, to do the best I possibly can for you guys. Um, so, yes, thank you so much. Um, it really means a lot if you subscribe or just, like, tuned into my videos or just, like, um, like turn the bell on or whatever so you can get notified when I upload. I never ask for that, but um, if you do want to know when I upload, then you can do that. Uh, let's see. Comments. Um, room tour. Yes, yes. That would be really cool. Okay. I'll get on that. Um, you're doing great, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate somebody uh, saying that. And, um, um, yes, what I was going to say. <laughs> I completely forget. Uh, something about Lego. Oh, well. I'll just... No, was I going to say something about it? I wish I would... I wish I would be more creative enough to do mocks. Oh, yes, if you haven't seen my mock. You heard Lego, that's just me kicking with my Lego thing. <laughs> And here is my Fireball Moth. This is my most recent moth. Um, I worked really hard on this. If you haven't checked out the video, it's really cool. Do you know how to stop my game? I'm sorry. <laughs> Fifth game. I, I do not. Um, yeah. But this is a really cool moth I made based off the Star Wars Resistance um, animated TV show that I just started recently watching. I watched it before. But um, I just made this mock because I'm like, oh, it's a super cool ship that hasn't been turned into Lego yet. Um, so I made it. And then I 
started watching the series right after I built it. Um, oh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, I really did work hard on it. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. I have a video out on YouTube. Also, I made my Endor mock. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, also watch that one. That one's a really good one. Also, the third one, I made a Yoda like Tarth mock. There's three good mock videos that I made. Um, all in the <laughs> Thank you so much, Underdog. <laughs> Um, and look at that, we have six people watching. That's great, you know. I really, really appreciate this. <laughs> um, and look at that, we hit over 350 subscribers. 352. Thank you guys a lot. <laughs> That's really amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, now we're on the winch. Finally, I knew we would get it sometime. <laughs> But this is the most annoying part because I got to tie up the string while being live. <laughs> oh boy. In general, as a person in real life, I am not a very good pub public speaker or talker. So um, I hope I sound okay and not stuttering too much because um, I'm not a very talkative person in real life. So it's really nice to talk to people online. <laughs> Um, oh my, this is going to be complicated. This was the only part of the build I was not looking forward to when I bought this set. I'm like, it's super cool play feature. When it's done, it's going to look awesome. But just doing it, oh no. It's going to be annoying. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with the string? What is this? Heck? <laughs> I'm an introvert too, yeah. I feel like for me, I just like, I don't know. I have a couple of good friends and I like stick with them, but I don't go out of my way to like make new friends, sort of. I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> um, so, um, this is going to be complicated. I think. Oh, wait. You're supposed to. How is that possible? <laughs> I don't like tiny small objects. Especially when I'm shaking. Ah, okay. So if you're going to get this set, just beware. This part may take you quite um, a while. <laughs> and I'm thinking, <clears throat> depending on what you guys want, I'm going to stream for an hour. Um, you guys let me know. We're at 38 minutes right now, so I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking I want to finish this bag and hopefully open the next one. Let's see. The winch stuff always made me upset as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the, the fifth version of the AT-80 AT that they made, I'm pretty sure. It's the 2020 version, so... I just picked this up, I think, two days ago now. <clears throat> and yeah, you guys tell me if like the mic's too too loud or something, because it I have a headset on right now, so um yeah, it could be too loud, <laughs> too close. Okay. Oh wait, do I just have to spin it? Is that how easy it is, or do I have to do anything else? So I tied it now. No, no, it's not working. The wind. <laughs> okay. The winch. No, no, work, please. Got to manually tie it up now. <clears throat> Five people are tuning in so far. That's great. Um, Thank you so much again for everybody who's joining. Did I do it? Did I do it? I think I did it. That's a win. Let's go. Okay, so. Where does this go? Um, I don't think I was supposed to. Let me just push this out. The mic quality is not too loud and not too quiet all the same at the time. Everything's fine. Thank you so much. I don't know about the video quality. I'm sorry. Well, as I said, my phone is not the best for any sort of quality. <laughs> so. Did I put this? Wait, what? 
Hold on. Where does this go? I have to leave now. Quite late in Germany. About <clears throat> 10 p.m. And yeah, have a great day and I'll totally watch your live next time. Thank you so much, Mara1001. Now, for Germany, I think we have a couple other German people here. Um, I know I am part German. <laughs> That's all I can say. And thank you so much for joining. I think it's going to be same time tomorrow because um, in Canada here, um, I get home at about like 2, 2.30 time and um, I started at 3.15. So it's probably going to be same time for you. I'm sorry it's so late for you. I'll try to start as early as I can, maybe 3 o'clock tomorrow for me. Um, but yeah, um, thank you so much for joining. Um, yeah, have a good rest of your night. Uh, let's see here. Like I'm, how does this even go on? <laughs> what is okay? Actually, how does this go on? Uh, <laughs> this is so confusing. Okay. I love Lego, but when it gets this confusing, <laughs> it's meant for ten plus. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah. It's supposed to go on like that. Hmm. Do you guys got any other questions in the comments? Like, can be Lego related or just like anything related? It doesn't really matter to me. I can answer lots of questions if you guys want. Okay. Um. Do we type? Hold on. Hold on. I think I'm getting it. <laughs> No, I'm not in there. <laughs> um, I have to go now. Hope you have a nice day. See you tomorrow. P.S. I'm also German. Okay, yeah. I think most of the people watching are German right now. But yeah, thank you so much, creepy dude underscore, for joining. Um, it's so nice of you. Yeah, you have a nice day too. It's right now. It's three fifty seven for me. So it's um yeah, it's almost four o'clock. Um, this is p.m. So. Yeah. And my time zone's Eastern Standard Time, so um yeah, it's just the afternoon for me. <laughs> okay, this does not like it still doesn't make sense. That's the funny part. Is I don't get it. It's like it goes And I know, I think Fifth Gaming or FIF Gaming, I think he's also German. I'm sure he is. So, because you said it in our last stream. Um, so, I don't know when you have to leave, but uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully you can stay a bit longer to chat. Um, and um, Fifth Gaming, if you're interested, um, in my room to where I could show some of my uh, models, if you're interested. I know you said you did like models last time. Um, let's see. Now I just gotta have some common sense. How does this go on? <laughs> this is not making any sense. Like it doesn't show me. Like I have this right here and it's showing me to just put it in like this. And like there's nothing to connect it. So it's it's Unless I like flip it around, like I have no idea. Um. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. This is gonna be. Maybe. What? <laughs> okay, this is just annoying now. <laughs> Uh, does that give me a better picture of what it looks like or anything? Anything at all? No, no. Huh. No, this is really stumping. Like, this is the oddest instrument in play. I'm a night owl, don't have a problem sleeping, little. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Yeah, me, I usually go to bed at like. Probably like yeah, ten, ten thirty. I don't yeah. I like my sleep. <laughs> my sleep is good. Um we're just at forty five minutes right now. 
and yeah, I think I'm gonna stream maybe, I don't know, depending on what you guys want. Um, like 15 more minutes, 20 more minutes. I don't know exactly. So let's see. Sometimes the instructions are a bit confusing. Yes, I agree on your talk. <laughs> I'm just getting confused. Like the hardest part's over. <laughs> but I think now this is the hardest part. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So I did this. Let me line it up and see. I'm sure this is the head here because it like flips side to side, and then this is the winch here. Um, and yeah, you guys just let me know how long you want the streams to be because I don't want it to make it too long, but I don't want it to make it too short because I do want to get some building done. Um, so I'm really excited to see what the final product is. And I got a good idea for how to like display this set instead of a review. I was going to do like a stop motion review. I don't know how that sounds for you guys, but I was thinking that would be really cool. Cool stop motion review. Let's see here. I'm just, what am I doing? <laughs> I just untied the rope. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so. I think I gotta take this out. I'll put this on the other side here. Stop motion sounds good. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, because I was thinking of displaying the set, I'll just do a stop motion, like it walking in, and then I'll display all my minifigures in stop motion and everything. Um, let's see here. Maybe. Okay, I'm just gonna set it here because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I literally have been building Lego for, like, years now, and I, like, never came across this odd plot. I'm sure, okay, I'm going back. I did something wrong, 100%. I, I forgot to add something, I'm sure. Let's see, this, this. Um, okay. So we got that. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, no, yes, yeah, okay. Yes, put it there, yes. What was before this? Um, yeah, <laughs> this is just completely stumping me. Oh, oh. so does it? What? Okay, I must no, I must have missed something like this. Like I actually missed. It. I had a little half base as a kid. Always enjoyed playing as the bad guys. Oh yeah, the half base. Oh yeah, that was so good. Um, the new like Ultimate Collector series one. I think it was like not new now. It's like twenty sixteen or something. That one was really cool. But yeah, the older half bases. Those were also pretty cool. Let's see so. I don't understand. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna mess up this build, but um, it's it's gonna work. Oh, the perspective is weird. I get it now, man. I'm so dumb. It's literally right in front of me, and I don't. Oh my, that that's it. Literally, it goes into this black thing here. I thought it went into this side, but oh my goodness. Okay. This is just annoying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's all <awesome. laughs> Oh my. Wow. That's just, that took me way too long. That's, yeah. Okay. Now I get it. I should probably be building sets that are meant for like, like four plus maybe. <laughs> Um, uh, let's see here. Got this one. And yeah, this is just bag, what is it, bag three now? Yeah, we're just on bag three. Like, we still have many more bags to go. Yeah, I see the laughing emoji. <laughs> I would put them on there too, though. Literally. It's just, you see, the problem I have about instruction manuals is it's not 3D, right? 
like that's not bad or anything. I'm just saying things with perspectives that you're layering or whatever, it's just harder um that particular way. But uh, let's see, what did I do wrong? <laughs> what? Okay, you my mm, I'm just so dumb at this point. <laughs> Okay, so it's saying it just pinches in between. Illegal building technique? <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Um, in this stressful time I'm going through, you're the only ones spending some time. Um, while I'm building only my snow mountain. Well, thank you so much for spending time with me. I, I really do enjoy this. Like, Lego's my hobby. It's my, um, uh, Lego's like, it's, it's my favorite. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Lego's like my favorite hobby. I would say I, I do like video games, but not as much. Lego is just that fun thing where you can get creative and you can, um, build whatever you want. It's really, I really enjoy it. Um, yeah i feel like live streams are more or less like podcasts something you can just like listen to like see how he's failing at putting on the grappling hook on the at, -AT sort of thing <laughs> i'm clearly failing at this part too <laughs> okay So it's saying that I should just slide this piece right in the middle. I don't think that's how Lego works. <laughs> I enjoy doing both at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Also for like um live streams and stuff, I usually like uh, for me at least, I usually listen to them while doing something else. I know that. Oh. I put it in the wrong uh that's 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 just me not paying attention at all. I've always spent like a bunch of minutes just like <laughs> just trying to put on a couple pieces. But I mean I feel like for live streams when I'm like talking and doing something, I, I feel like I get too distracted. But like I don't really care too much because it'll get built one time. Like, I just had this really good idea that I was like, hey, I wanna do something that I uh, Building. It's like, yeah, let's do it. Oh, it, okay. Now I get it. This makes complete sense. Complete sense. Okay. <laughs> All I had to do was slide this one through now. And now it works. Let's go. That sort of works. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to say it. Let's win. Here we go. This is we're coming up on fifty three minutes now, so um I don't know if I'm gonna get um to beg for you just you guys let me know um if I should keep going or not um really doesn't matter to me I don't have a whole lot of stuff but I know um maybe I could probably do an extra half an hour probably but it's whatever you guys think. Looks good so far. I wish I had this set. Yeah, this set's the AT80 from 2020. Yeah, this set's really cool. I saved up for it, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy this one. Because um, it was, like, it was close to me. It was either this one or Moff Gideon's Light Cru Cruiser. But for me, I feel like the AT80 is a lot more iconic. And for somebody who likes the original trilogy, um, I thought I would go with this one. Just because... Um, it was one of the most iconic vehicles in Star Wars. Other than Millennium Falcon, of course, that's really iconic. I had that one, though, so um, I didn't need it. Yeah, sorry, I gotta put this in the camera here. Mm. Yeah, it is a great set. I really do like this one. If I wouldn't have got this one, what other set would you guys have? like to see me build like do you like the Moff Gideon's light cruiser do you like like the Mandalorian starfighter I know um somebody in the chat already said they like the helmets a while ago um helmets are pretty interesting 
and the Proud Dread are those eighteen plus cool ones. Let's see here. I'll try to do this mint. Ah, uh, the X-wing. Yes, the X-wing. That's cool. I like the X-wing. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that the X-wing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the X-wing's cool. The X-wings. Yeah, less money than this. I could have got the X-wing, but I was. Yeah. I don't know. At this point, I I like this one better. But yes, the X-wing, amazing. I know my dad. He really likes the X-wing. He tried to build. <laughs> he tried to build his own X-wing. <laughs> It did not turn out very well. It was like all multicolored and it, <laughs> it did not work. That was a while ago. But yeah, the winch you just pull like you just pull it up and down and then it goes up and down. So yeah, lots of you guys are saying X Wing, everybody's X Wing, X Wing, yeah, the X Wing's really cool. Um yeah. I know. That might be my next one then in the future. Mike and X Wing. I mean X Wing, yeah. It's way more iconic than this. It was really iconic too. I just felt like I wanted a set that was like more expensive than the next one. It's a really good epic set. Okay, now the most tricky part. I gotta tie this onto the string. Let's see. Back in the day, I always loved the sets where you could place figure inside. Like the money of life. Yes. Okay. Money of life. I'll be right back. I have the money of life. I got the force of the future. The one that like the main force of life these characters, and it's the one with the antennae, um, rectangles here. And yeah, it's a pretty cool set. I really like this one. I got this one for my um my tenth birthday quite a while ago now. Um, like four years now. Um, it's still doing pretty well. I really like this one. But there's not, like, there wasn't really exclusive mini figures that came with it. I'm trying to think. There was old Han Solo, Chewbacca, Finn, BB-8, Ray. Oh, yes, there was. The, the two pirates, right. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the one that I have currently. And then it opens, and I'll give you an uh, overhead shot of that. And this one, I think I bought it for like, I think it was like 175 Canadian. Like it. That's what it looks like. And you can even open the gun, and then you can store some people in here. And the cockpit you can open here. So that's the money you've got, and that's really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's like my biggest set so far. The AT he's gonna come pretty close. This one was I think a thousand three hundred and maybe fifty pieces around that, and the AT is one thousand two hundred and sixty seven. So it's about a uh, hundred pieces under this set right here. So it's gonna be pretty big still, but not as big as the money of Lincoln. Let's see. Let's see. Um, if you haven't seen, I have quite a few LEGO City updates, and you can go check them out. Um, I have this really cool LEGO City that I made with a bunch of custom um, LEGO like buildings and stuff, which is really cool. Um, took me quite a while. Um, I like spent like a full week just like throughout the summer and stuff, just like building. And if I wasn't happy with it, I would destroy it and restart because I had time in the summer. <laughs> Oh, this is so complicated. I don't like strings, especially thin ones. <laughs> okay. And then I just gotta pull it out a bit. There we go. We got some more string. Like this. Okay, this is gonna be the most complicated part of everything. Um, yeah, we just hit an hour now, so I think I'm gonna finish tying this thing. Then, yeah, maybe end if you guys want to see more. Then I can run it a bit longer if you guys want. 
Um, then I have to go now, but I really wish you a lot of fun building. See you next time. Yes, thank you so much for coming. Two days in a row, that is. Let's make it three days, and um, tomorrow I'm going to do the same thing. I'm sure if I'm not busy, I'm yeah, you'll basically see it up on my channel, and then you can just join. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for joining, and thank you guys for 350 subscribers. It's really cool. Yes, bye, Fifth Gaming, Thief. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know. FIF. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna say FIF. Maybe. Okay. Thank you so much for the heart. <laughs> Yeah, I really do like seeing people um, watch and enjoy my content. That's basically all I want. That's my end goal. Is people enjoying what I make and what I do. And like sharing the same interests and everything. Almost got it tied. Oh no. You just untied it. <laughs> no. I had it tied. It's too bad. So close. There we go. Oh, okay, this takes concentration. Small tying stuff. This is just annoying. <laughs> um. Oh, if you guys have any more questions, I will answer them very willingly. Because I'm always willing to answer questions i also really want my youtube audience and everybody to just get to know me better i think that's a big part of um like growing and your channel and a bigger part and just having a better community is um getting to know your community let's see Okay. Just gotta double knot it now. <laughs> so close. Almost there. And okay, oh no, now I gotta double knot. <laughs> bit of string. I need like little tweezers and like something like that. This is just complicated. I'm just gonna quickly finish this if I can and then I'll end the stream. But if any of you guys if any of you guys want to the stream to last any longer, just let me know and I can extend it for an extra ten minutes or something. Um let's see here. It's done. I'm just gonna put the other quick change the camera to there. And I'm gonna tie this. At least attempt to try it. To tie it. Double knot it. Like, it's good right now, but it's so loose. I might just have to put like a piece of tape or something on it. Um. It's really loose right now. Oh, okay. Double knot, yes. Yes. Yes, okay, double knot. We got it, we got it. We got the double knot, let's go, okay. So that will conclude my live stream. We got the winch system done, and we got the head swishy back and forth. Thank you so much for joining um and um thanks for all of the support and i will see you guys tomorrow um for the next live stream okay see you next time down to the break out